bloody good advice in my opinion and a pyramid as well good afternoon everybody we're outside Selfridges on London's Oxford Street checking out some of the window displays so I'll show you a bit of that uh, Selfridges always known for its Christmas holiday windows so we'll, we'll have a good look at some of that about four o'clock in the afternoon on Friday December the 18th sort of mild rainy evening and going to show you the, the vibe on Oxford Street um, and film some of the decorations and not to uh, earlier in the 20th century though. I won't do a whole lot of commentary on this one. I'll just uh, let you uh, get the atmosphere and um, you can uh, appreciate London's Oxford Street. Reference to Beluga Caviar. Vodka. And there's the original sign there, Selfridge and Co. Limited, 1909 to 2009, and still going strong in 2020. Yeah, I'm not sure what's considered the, the best window display in, in London, but um, I imagine Selfridges would be up there along with perhaps Harrods, Hamleys, etc. So I think we've done enough with Selfridges. Uh, let's walk along Oxford Street and getting you some of the, the atmosphere here. I'm a 
luckily the rain is holding off it's just a sort of irritating half drizzle but uh, as long as it doesn't affect the phone and camera then it's uh, fine by me Christopher's place. And there's a bit of the history there from a forgotten backwater to one of London's loveliest shopping streets. So I'm not going to read it all, but you can see it's 18th, 19th, 20th century. This has always been a very attractive retail passageway in the heart of London's West End. So many people, so many shoppers, tourists have walked down Oxford Street and completely missed the tiny turn off here, which is a shame because they've been missing some of this, which is a bit special. What's great about St Christopher's Place is, as I always say in all my videos, once you look above eye level, the 21st century disappears and you're left with these great sort of 18th century, early 19th century brickwork. So I do recommend always just to, to look uh, look above and see what's there and of course none of my walks videos would be complete without a street light so i think we'll um swing around and go back just spotted something up there and um, we need to zoom up there We've got St Christopher's Buildings, 1877, and there's a nice detail right above there. So do enjoy a bit of that. And we will go back down St Christopher's Place, cross over Oxford Street, and show you a little bit of the, uh, the hidden Mayfair area lying just south of Oxford Street and adjacent to New Bond Street. And there's a depressing sign of the times, the um, you, the uh, stacked chairs and uh, tables, no indoor or outdoor eating, um, which is a real drag. Um, some pretty unusual women's fashions 
being swayed along here. So I'm guessing vintage uh, looks at places called Hampstead Bazaar, established in 1968. So uh, a remainder of your swinging 60s there. And I do recommend that you pause on your screen where I held that up five minutes ago just to read all that because um, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. And here we go on to Oxford Street. show you down here this is a bit special in South Moulton Street have a look at those Christmas lights there plenty of people getting their photographs and video of those that is a bit special so um, let's have a look at that there you go that's um, one of the better Christmas displays I have seen which is uh, on South Moulton Street there. Quite unusual in style. So, uh, just show you that. But we are always going off piste and checking out down here. South Moulton Passage and some nice work there on the on the walls there and there's an old sign up there tailors just above south Moulton passage and have to show you this this is a bit unusual. That's the Grosvenor Works. Looks like J. Balding and Sons, manufacturers of sanitary appliances, brass founders, and metal merchants. So that's uh, that's a bit of commercial history there. And showing you South Moulton Lane and that little passageway there. Right, let's uh, have a look down here. This building on my right is now Gray's um, antique uh, emporium with various independent antique uh, art and jewellery stands. So that's um, a pretty interesting place. really enjoy the, the sort of details on these. These back streets uh, of Mayfair, some of these old buildings, the brickwork is, is pretty old. Show you a bit of that, there's some tiny details. Individuals at corn on the cob, monkey nut and cabbage heads have not got a clue what that's about. 
but um, looks like a fennel, orange, an ice cream, a broccoli, and that. And we're in a little area billing itself as the South Molten Triangle. And it uh, goes back to the 1720s there. So I'll let you read that. And I suppose this is the the details I'm interested in these these terrace houses um, that are on South Moulton Street and of course uh, all of this being the, the backs of those uh, very distinctive houses so this is like your your arse end you could say this is not uh, the sort of public consumption these sort of pretty frontages are on the the busy South Moulton Street and of course this is this is the um, service area shall we say um, something there 1803 William Blake and his wife Catherine move in uh, 1785 and what have we got over here so Company Victoria Rifles occupies a building here. 1891, James Balding and Sons built their factory and showroom. I showed you the plaque earlier. 1902, and in the 40s, building at 56 Davis, Davies Street, destroyed by a bomb. And there's the photograph um, 50 to 52 building is rebuilt by James Miller and partners and in 77 the Silver Jubilee year Gray's Antiques opens at 58 Davy Street so if I cross over and then I can sort of show you more of the building looking there so it's all good stuff as far as I'm concerned these mews these back streets are what I'm all about and there you've got Davies Mews which is um, the back of the Gray's Antique building There's, there's that. I'm guessing uh, these murals are done by children. They're obviously uh, showing um, a less superior craftsmanship than some of the the other street art and murals that we've seen in my various walks. Um, right, let's head over head over here so we're now going to check out Avery Road W1 
this is the Handel House Museum. Just like that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying she needs. And I, I was like, <laughs> It's just all super pretty here and in normal circumstances would be extremely bustling. So there you go, Lancashire Court, Court Mayfair's best kept secret. So there you go, that's just a brief, uh, quick look around secret Mayfair with an emphasis on the, the Christmas decorations at the moment. I'll sign off now, bye for now.